Well, hi, everybody, and good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski. We're starting our Thursday off on the cloudy side of things. Most of the rain, though, has wrapped up. It's uh, really lingering in east-central Nebraska, but pretty much all of us done with the rain at this point. A little bit of a north and northeast breeze. Not that strong, though. Shouldn't be terribly strong through the day. Foggy conditions out towards the west this morning should gradually lift. We'll start to clear up those skies from west to east. So the farther west you go, the more sun you're going to see today. The farther east you go, you may be socked under quite a bit of cloud cover for a good chunk of the day, and it may take some time but eventually we're going to get some tri-city sunshine this afternoon as well. Heading into tonight then, mostly clear in the evening, but then clouds thickening up later in the nighttime hours. Not terribly cold overnight tonight. So we'll start off with those mostly cloudy skies on your Friday, perhaps some patchy fog giving way to mostly sunny skies in the afternoon. Should stay dry most of the day. Uh, south and southeast winds do get a little bit breezy in the afternoon up there on 10 to 20 miles per hour. That's going to bring in a little bit of moisture into the area and warmer temperatures. We're going to end the uh, week on a good note temperature-wise out there. And by the af or evening and overnight hours, there will be a, the chance of a few hit or miss showers or thunderstorms out there, although the severe weather threat looking relatively low. Now, as we get towards Saturday afternoon and evening, maybe a little better chance of a couple of strong to severe thunderstorms out there. In fact, the Storm Prediction Center already has the western parts of the Local 4 viewing area, the western half of the Local 4 viewing area, under a marginal threat of severe weather. So that's that lower end threat where we wouldn't be looking at major severe weather. A large hail, damaging winds look to be the primary threat, and this is, uh, again, Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening time frame with what we're looking at right now. We'll continue to watch that in the coming days as we get a little bit closer to Saturday here. How about the weather, though, temperature-wise the next couple of days? Now, today, Tri-Cities area returning to our average high, upper 50s to near 60 degrees. A little cooler to the north and east with the thicker clouds, low to mid-50s in some of those locations, but warmer out west, low to mid-60s. And down to the south as well, some lower 60s as you get more and more sunshine the farther west and southwest that you go. Tonight, not terribly cold, low to mid 40s for overnight lows. Our typical lows are low to mid 30s, so we're almost 10 degrees above that for overnight temperatures. Tomorrow's temperatures returning to the 70s, lower 70s, maybe a couple of upper 60s, but mostly lower 70s for high temperatures. And then low to mid 70s on our Saturday. Uh, in fact, I didn't adjust a lot of these numbers here other than GI and Hastings, but I think we have a chance to push 73, 74 degrees for a high temperature there on Saturday there. So that Carney number is probably going to be closer to about 72 to 73 degrees for a high temperature. But I think we're looking at some really mild conditions, nice warm conditions, in fact, for Saturday. But, of course, that chance of a late afternoon, evening shower, storm, maybe a little bit of severe weather out there as well. So looking good for Friday and Saturday. Behind that, a cold front will bring uh, that chance of rain and thunderstorms Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. Maybe a lingering shower early on Sunday, otherwise a little cooler, but not bad, breezy northerly winds on the backside of that cold front, and we'll be down in the 60s to near 70s still in some spots, so still not bad out there by any means Sunday. Monday looking good, mostly sunny, high around 70, Tuesday maybe a few degrees cooler. By Tuesday night, that's the beginning of uh, an approaching storm system that will bring us our next chance of rain. This one looks to be a more powerful storm system. This one brings us a pretty good chance of moisture, in fact, and will bring a pretty big, big cool down beyond the seven day forecast. Now, rain chances moving into the area from the northwest Tuesday night into early on Wednesday. And this one could be, a, again, could be a day on Wednesday where we start to see a wide range in temperatures. Models hinting at anything from maybe the 70s in the southeast to the 40s in the northwest. And we could be in the middle ground in the Tri-Cities. And on the warm sector of things, out ahead of the system, maybe some thunderstorm activity Wednesday afternoon to Wednesday evening, especially favoring eastern and southeast Nebraska, maybe north central portions of Kansas. Maybe some thunder here in the Tri-Cities as well. Again, this is still a long ways away yet, so uh, again, we're going to have to figure out the timing and the placement of this area of low pressure. But with it being stronger, it'll at least be on the breezy side. Could end up being on the windy side on Wednesday. On the back side of it, as we push towards Wednesday night into Thursday, colder rain could transition over to snowfall towards Thursday, especially, I think, favoring northern and western areas. But you'll see how, as I show you the 10-day temperature forecast, look at that after Wednesday, well below average for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 40s to near 50 degrees. And, of course, that next Saturday, the uh, 13th of April, that is the spring game in Lincoln, so it could be a cooler spring game, of course. Being 10 days out yet, there's not a lot of confidence in that temperature forecast quite yet here. So you're going to want to continue to watch the forecast as we go through the next uh, uh, week ahead as we get closer to that storm system. So we'll get a better idea of how that will play out. But it certainly could have some impacts for the area with rain, thunderstorms, and maybe, just maybe, some snow to throw in on the backside of it as well. So with that, I'm going to let you all go. Hope you all have a uh, good Wednesday, or Thursday. It is Thursday, isn't it? Have a, hope you have a good Thursday. I'll see you again bright and early on Friday morning. Take care, enjoy your day, and God bless. Bye.